Mercedes-Benz LG 3000. Workhorse of the Wehrmacht and Luftwaffe. Daimler-Benz being one of the largest German automotive manufacturers in the pre-war years was not happy at not being invited to compete in the 1926 Reichswehr competition for a three-axle truck in the three-ton class their own pride and a belief in their own abilities made them decide to develop a new truck in the class independently of the competition. The lorry they came up with was as per the Reichswehr's Requirements and specifications, a three-axle 2x4 configuration, a three-ton design that they gave the designation of Mercedes-Benz LG63. De- development began in 1934 and they even managed to produce the first three prototypes the same year, with a fourth, with a further seven prototypes the following year. Once the Nazis took over Germany, it was not long until they started a major program of rearmament, and as such the number of lorries required in the three-ton class increased exponentially. The demands became more than the original contracted companies could supply to look for additional sources of supply and it didn't take long for Mercedes to take advantage of this situation and offer their other type. In either type, LG63, the the finalised design of the LG63 that entered production was renamed the LG3000 and was originally produced for civilian customers. Many were sold to corporations in and to the national industry service sector such as the Reichspost and Reichsbahn, which is of course the German railways. In 1936, Mercedes produced 500 of these vehicles, but with orders from the Wehrmacht, in production was increased, and in 1937, Mercedes produced 2,500 LG 3000s. However, from then on, production started to slow down, and the newer designs became available from other manufacturers. And production of the LG 3000 finally came to a halt in 1940, after a total of 7,440 had been manufactured. It has been stated that a large part of the production of the LG 3000 was exported, but this is untrue. Many a misunderstood document. What it actually states is that much of the production of the LG 3000 was not supplied to the Wehrmacht, and on this had been thought to mean the rest were exported, but in fact they were supplied to German civil customers, not to the military or foreign customers. Indeed, Mercedes records clearly state that they only exported 26 vehicles. This, however, becomes accurate in as with the invasion of Poland. A large population of the lorries supplied to civilian customers were requisitioned by the German armed forces with the Luftwaffe being the recipients of the bulk of these requisitioned vehicles and lastly as with most other German truck manufacturers the LG 3000 was offered in many different forms and the chassis were supplied with many different body types from the common wood load bed with an open top to a communications vehicle fitted with sophisticated electronic equipment housed in a cabin, replacing the normal cargo bed. Engine power and displacement, Daimler-Benz OM67 diesel 95 horsepower, 7,413 cc's. Years of manufacture, 1934 to 1940. Production quantity, 7,440 plus test vehicles. They were also used as barriers for the Luftwaffe and airfield crash tenders. Also featuring in Top Secret, 1984, and Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, even though that one was a replica.